My name is Carolyn. I am 66 years old. I mean, I've never felt more beautiful at 66 than ever in my life. I mean, that's really true. It's like, I feel like I get to claim, hey, I'm not bad looking, you know, and um, it was never right before that. But, you know, it's a lot of trying not to listen to the negative messaging that our culture embraces. I mean, it was a long haul because, you know, one of the things that is sad in life is I think that sometimes if you feel you're not attractive, you can find people who will tell you that. <laughs> and so I did have some reinforcement along those lines. But I don't know. I mean, I had some positive experiences and uh, I married really well. <laughs> that helped. <laughs> and so I just, it's kind of like I grew into it. I actually just retired from being a psychologist. I just closed my practice and I am also an artist and I continue to be an artist. I do sculptures using the vocabulary of textiles. So I use knitting and stitching and uh, techniques that one uses with handwork and uh, non-traditional materials. And so in particular, I knit wire. I work with um, objects found in nature. Because my son and daughter-in-law are evolutionary biologists and ecologists, their, their conversations with me have really informed my work, so I work a lot with themes of ecology and evolution. The intergenerational friendships are very important to me. I seek them out because because I think that people of all ages have so much to offer. I thought I was pretty wise when I was young, and I was. And I know a lot of younger people who are way wiser than a lot of the older people I know. But I feel like I'm old enough to have you know, cred in saying that. That, I will tell you, is something else that I believe at 66, is we are always evolving and learning it doesn't end. I feel visible at this age, even though you know, I hear a lot of women around my age saying I'm invisible, but I think because I felt so invisible so much of my life that I feel visible now. I make art out of sort of an intrinsic drive to create, and I in particular respond to the materials and the textual na nature of making the materials, but then as they build, I just feel like there's this inner dance of assimilation of my experience in the world and what's happening with whatever I'm making. And I believe that each person um, who creates art has, has this, this internal um, conversation that goes on really does give a unique voice in our art. So we all see the world in this very precisely minute way that's different from each other. And I think paying attention to that allows something to share in the world that wouldn't otherwise be shared. Being 66 rather than 26 has been way more fun. And it's coincidental because it's also at 66, I am feeling unlike 26. Oh, what the heck? I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wear what I wanna wear. I'm gonna look the way I wanna look. I wanna have fun with fashion. It's like, if I wanna wear makeup, I will. If I don't wanna wear makeup, I won't. And um, so it's kind of like freedom.